everyone, it's Board Game Brody here with Atelier, the painter's studio by AEG Games. Atelier actually means workshop in English. Word. This is a dice and worker placement game in the gateway games category for two to four players and plays in 30 to 45 minutes. In the game, you play as a master painter managing your workshop. Each round, you will roll four dice to instruct your students and acquire paint to create wonderful masterpieces of art. You will compete with other players to become the most famous painter of the 19th century. The game is set up so that you will always have seven different paintings to choose to create. The cost of the painting is shown on the bottom left, followed by the number of victory points that the painting is worth. The middle text will give you power that you will be able to use while playing, or at times is a one-time bonus. On the bottom right of the card, it will list the number of students that you will need to return to your player board, and underneath that it shows the category the painting is listed as. At the very beginning of the game, you will choose one patron card that will help lead your choices in the game and help you gain in-game points by achieving certain requirements. You will also have chances in the game to gather more of these cards to gain more points at the end. A turn consists of using one or more dice to take dice actions according to the number of pips shown on the dice. A one or two, you will be placing a student from your player board to one of the four color piles. A three lets you move zero or one student of each player from one paint pile to another. This most likely will mess up their plans and cause them not to have the majority in a certain color. A four lets you collect paint from each pile where you have the most students. When playing with four players, a tie of having the most will also let you take this action. But in a two to three player game, a tie will not allow you to collect the paint color. A five lets you paint a painting, exchanging your required paints listed on the card and placing the painting in front of you. If there is a student requirement, at this time you will return it back to your player board. Also, if the painting that you just acquired has a win painted ability, then you'll be able to perform the action right then and there. A six lets you gain one paint from any pile, even if you don't have a student in that location. Again, on your turn, you can spend one to all four of your dice. Just know that if you spend all your dice, then you will be skipped until all the other players use all of their dice for that round. Now, if you don't want to take the dice action for that turn, instead, you can spend any number of dice to take an inspiration token. During a player's turn, you can also, in addition, spend inspiration tokens to take any inspiration action. After rolling, but before spending any dice, you can spend one inspiration token to re-roll all of your active dice. You can spend two inspiration tokens to take the paint a painting action, as if you spent one of your dice to do that action. And if you spend three inspiration tokens, then you can draw the top card of the patron deck and they will give you more goals to earn points at the end of the game. Also during any point on your turn, you can use powers on paintings that you own, including a painting that you just got this turn. After all players have used their dice, everyone will start a new round by passing the first player token, rolling all their dice again, and start taking actions. The game ends when a player has painted three masterpieces. Masterpieces are shown by having a star underneath the title of the painting. The first player who paints three masterpieces will be given the first player token, and it is worth four points at the end of the game. At this point, you will complete the current round and then play one more final round. Players will then score their paintings, their patron cards, and the first player token. The player with the most points wins. Atelier is a nice game that requires you to take your actions strategically. The roll of the dice gives you a list of all possible actions that you can take, but the game also gives you options to take other actions like using your dice to gain inspiration tokens. The game lets players take actions to manipulate all the other players' students as well, which can limit or change which color paints those players can obtain. The game gives you seven different paintings to plan for, and you will want to collect as many as you can, but the game also gives you incentives with the patron cards to paint certain types of paintings. The added bonuses on the painting cards also greatly help as they enhance the dice action or give you extra bonuses that other players can't do. The artistic theme and the strategic nature, yet also simplicity of the game, makes this a great gateway game. Again, this is Atelier by AEG. Again, this is Board Game Brody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around and check out some other board game reviews to see what you might want to get to the table.